How's it going, everybody? It's Dustin here. We've got the uh, the old international semi, and it's time to put a hitch on it. We've already got a fifth wheel hitch and bumper pull hitch, but I needed a gooseneck hitch. So went down to the metal yard today. Got a piece of 12 inch wide, half inch thick flat plate. And my plan is to take the fifth wheel plate loose, move it farther forward on the holes, and then take that plate, drill holes in it, bolt it across the back and put the ball in it. Then probably brace down onto this bar here. So sounds pretty easy, but drilling all these holes in this stuff will probably be a little bit difficult. So but that should get us able to hook up to the trailer. Got a few jobs lined up for the equipment, so need to get the truck ready. So we're gonna start by trying to get these bolts out of the fifth wheel plate and see if we can get it moved forward. Well, I got all the bolts out of the fifth wheel plate, so I'm gonna try and slide it up where I can use this hole right here to mount right there. Okay, so we've got the fifth wheel plate moved forward. Now we're gonna put our plate up here, mark our holes and see if we can start drilling. All right, I'm gonna center punch my holes and see if we can start drilling.
Okay, we got all our holes, holes drilled. We're gonna slide it up here and see if we can bolt it down. Well, everything looks like it's gonna bolt up just fine. I didn't get enough bolts, so I'm gonna have to get a couple more bolts and I'm gonna need new bolts for the fifth wheel plate anyway. But. So I'm gonna measure and find the center for the ball and uh, get that marked and start drilling it. So I've got the center marked for where the ball goes. So I've got an inch and quarter hole saw. I'm gonna drill that out and um, talk about the rest of it. piece of a quarter inch plate and I'm gonna mark the center of it punch another hole in it then I'm gonna put it on top weld it around I think that'll help stiffen it up top I put this plate on here I'm gonna weld it all the way around and I think it'll help keep it from flexing back and forth I know this is a heavy piece of plate but I don't really want to take any chances so that's the top and I'll I'll flip it over and show you what we're gonna do with the bottom so here's the bottom and what my plan my plan is to take this angle iron, like this, like this, and this three sixteen square tubing right here, and put right there and right there and weld all this in all the way around it and that way when it's sitting down in the frame rails there's a lot more holding this piece of flat strap here from flexing I know it's got six bolts six five eighths bolts holding it in and it's half inch plate but there's gonna be a, a lot of stress on this right here. So that's the plan. 
I've got to get a welder rented, weld it all up, and uh, hopefully the next time we're, hopefully tomorrow I can rent a welder and uh, get this welded up tomorrow evening and be ready to hook up something. We're also going to put D-rings on the top side for the safety chains. Well, it's the next day. It's a beautiful late winter day and uh, got the welder rented and we got everything ready. We're going to get it all tacked up, weld it up and see if we can uh, get it done today. So there's the hitch done and put on. Uh, my batteries all died the other day and uh, I had to get this hitch done. I didn't have time to wait on the battery. So I got it put on, I used it. I uh, got a tandem dual trailer here. I had a tractor, it weighed about 10,000 pounds and uh, hauled it about 40 miles and uh, hitched it great. It's still attached, so that's always a good thing. But uh, truck and trailer did great. I've got to, uh, I've got to get some brakes, put on the trailer, or a brake controller I should say. Since this truck has air brakes, I've got to get a different kind of brake controller than just uh, a standard electric brake controller. They actually make one for air brakes, so i got to get that put on. So 10,000 is a little much with just the truck brakes, so I'm going to get some trailer brakes put on it. And uh, the only casualty was the alternator alternator went out on the truck so i got it off I'm going to take it to the uh rebuild shop have it gone through and uh should be back up and running but the hitch definitely definitely pleased with the hitch We've got the uh safety chain loops here and i think i think i should definitely still be able to uh, hook up to a a semi trailer without taking the ball out but if i do it's not that big of a deal so well there's that project if you uh like button and if you haven't subscribed uh ask you please subscribe thanks